Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. <laughs> but now that you are here, I'm sure you're asking yourself, why is Miss Cravens wearing a witch hat? It is not Halloween, but do you know what today is? It is the start of Wizard Week. Yes, today's project has to do with potions. Ooh la la. So we are going to be making our very own pop-up potions. Cool thing about this project is it is really pop-up. And if you know how to do it, you could do this with a lot of other cool things. Make a pop-up card of any kind. So stay tuned, and we'll be mixing some potions today. Ooh, abracadabra, poof, poof, poof. <laughs> the materials you'll need today are two pieces of paper, a pencil, scissors, some sort of black marker if you have them. If you don't, don't worry about it. And colored pencils or crayons or something to add color. Let's get started. So I'm gonna start with one piece of paper. This is going to be our background that every all the little bottles attach to. So step one, fold this in half. Do your best to match it up really good. Awesome. Okay, when I open it, one side's gonna be the wall. The other side's gonna be the floor. And you decorate it the way you want. If you want a dirt floor, wood floor, tile floor, grass floor, same with the wall. Windows, doors, curtains, patterned wall, wallpaper, whatever you want. So let's decorate the wall and the floor. Now that the wall and the floor are done, we're going to fold this back up. So this is the important part. We are going to draw and cut some things. So it's important we figure out what side we need to do that on. Do not draw on the open side. So you wanna find the folded side and that is where we are going to draw from. You can do four or three of these it is up to you. So what they are is we're going to draw kind of a long skinny rectangle and different heights. So tall, small, medium, have them all a different height. So I'll do four, but you are welcome to do three. So I'll do a tall one, a medium one, one that's kind of in between, and then a short one. Make sure they are pretty spaced out in all different heights. Now, last step for our background. Once again, double check. Is this the folded side? If so, you may continue. All you're going to do is cut up and up. Do not, I made this mistake last time, do not cut this line. Leave it alone. You are going to then keep Cut, 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 cut that one, cut that one. All right, when you unfold this, you're gonna see that these can kind of pop out, okay? All you have to do is you are going to pull that forward and then bend it it kind of wants to bend there because it's where the paper was folded. And you are going to make sure it looks like this, nice and bent. And then we will continue doing that. Here's my little one, bend it forward, bend it forward, bend this one forward. I might want to bend these back a little bit more. Ooh, looking good. And last one. Pop it forward. Gonna bend it. Gonna bend it. Until you start seeing this. All right, and now we are on to part two. This is where we draw the potions. All right, part two. This is where we are going to do our potions on a, the second piece of paper. So since I cut four 
sections out of my background, two, three, four. I need to make sure I have four sections on here. If you only did three, this will still help you. Um, fold this in half. Fold it in half again. And I'm doing this because when I unfold it, I will know that I have four sections and I should try to make my potion bottle, at the very least, fit inside these. So here is a trick with potion bottles to make it look more 3D. Always start at the top and start with an oval. You could start with a small oval. You could start with a big oval, um, a medium oval, and a really, really, really small oval towards the top of that line. And all you have to do from here is start thinking about what container you want to do. So maybe on this one, I just always touch the side of the oval. Maybe this one's wavy. Curved line on the bottom. Awesome. Maybe this one just looks kind of like a, um, like a cookie jar or a cup. Straight lines down the side. Just like that. Maybe this one, I'm making more of a, maybe it looks like an egg. Ooh, fancy. And this one I could have look like a, a cup because you can put potions in a cup. Why not? You can do whatever you need to do. From here, start making them look magical. Like a lot of that has to do with the way you color it. A lot of that has to do with maybe, let's see, to add liquid into something, add an oval inside of it. Now it looks like that is all liquid. You could add some bubbles coming up from it, just like that. You could add a lid if you wanted to. You would just bring this up and then you would end up just erasing this line if you wanted a lid on any of your containers. You could have little spiders on it. Well, you could do like a finger because it's like ingredient, which is finger, or like newt. Or you decorate it any way you want. Let's see what else. This one, if you want liquid in it, oval, great. Maybe there's an eyeball in it. It's looking at you and all of there and then you just have fun with it decorate the cup make stripes make zigzags make it awesome and then afterwards if you have a sharpie please outline if you don't don't worry about it and uh after that we'll color it but sharpie if you can it makes them look really good all right next color and make it really cool. I will say, the ones that I colored last time, I think the more colorful, the more like magical and potion-y they look. So do not be afraid of the colors, okay? Let's get going. And there we go. Last step for this is cut these out. Cool. <laughs> and done. And stay tuned for the last part. It is literally one step and we're done. Final step. I forgot during materials to say that you needed a glue stick or glue or any kind of glue. But all we're gonna do is on our project where the floor is facing the front. I'm gonna flatten this back out. It will not hurt it. I'm gonna put some glue on this part that stands straight up. This part stands straight up when I hold it. So I'm gonna put that there. Find a potion and stick it on. And if I have a shorter one, I can use that. 
because you might want to save your taller ones for so you can cover the whole thing. So I'll do this one. I can put one of my tall ones there. And stick. And one of my little baby ones. A ball cup goes there. Stick, stick, stick. And last one. Let's hope it fits. It's kind of wide. Oh, yeah, it'll work. It just goes behind these guys. All right. And there, you can even, I'll pick my phone up so you can see. And there we have it. I stuck the little pieces I cut out to the fronts of my bent piece. And when I look at it, it looks like I have a bunch of potions sitting on my table. Ooh la la, I can't wait to see y'all. I bet they're gonna be super cool. So I hope you enjoyed today's potions project. Cool thing about this is you can make it again. It doesn't have to be potions. You could put anything on here and make any kind of scene and people are always impressed with some sort of pop-up. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna go see if whatever's in this spider jar is delicious in my coffee. See you next time.